it was great this morning, but now it's just gone a bit. I've moored up at the other end of Whitten Island so that I can see the spit. These are neepy tides. They're just starting to grow a bit, but it's, I think he said it was seven metres. So the minimum is four and a bit metres. So you know, it's a neat tide. Biggest is nine. You can see how far up the tide has come. You can see where the tide line is really clearly, where the snow is basically. So you can see there's a couple more, I don't know, a metre and a bit to go. But it started raining and snowing just now, so I thought I would stop. Might be that I've stopped for the night, which would be bad. This is the weather forecast for Ghoul, so I should get it about an hour before them. So it says it's going to rain at 5, and the strongest the wind will be will be 8 miles an hour easterly. Wednesday, dry but cloudy. Right now, it doesn't really look that brilliant, I have to say. Here comes a bit of horrible weather. But I am hopeful. I mean, it's only two o'clock, so that gives me another two and a half hours. It's three o'clock. <laughs> another hour and a half. Uh, it's possible this will blow through and it might get a nice evening, but you never know. Or it might just get worse. If it gets worse, then I shall just lift the hook and move, tuck myself in further back down the island. There's that corner down there, which is sheltered from every direction. It's great. So here could get a little bit lumpy if it keeps coming from the east, which is what they're saying. It's going to be an east, eight miles an hour. Don't know what it is now. Seven miles an hour. So if I could just go down there and round the corner, I'll be out of it. Umbrella, by the way. In some ways, an umbrella is better than a spray hood because you can turn it around. Spray hood, you, I do feel quite trapped in by a spray hood, uh, and I hate sailing with it up. But I don't know. The trouble is, in a few minutes, the tide's going to start ebbing, so then I shall catch a bit more of the wind. Just a bit of wind against tide for a little bit. It's not supposed to be that strong. Hoping that tomorrow will produce something, you never know. Half past eight on a Tuesday morning. dropping Eleanor off so I thought I might just as well um, come to the boat and then I was at the boat and the sun started shining on Monday morning so I thought man maybe they've got the weather forecast wrong so I've come out it's not it's not snowing it's not raining it's low tide there's snow around it is cold but it is also peaceful So I'm just going to drift down in the bridge direct direction of the bridge, following across these mud flats, which you can see um, have got snow on them. Got a meter underneath me. 
little bit of a breeze, not much. Free flow, I guess they're pretty keen to get the water off the land, so the gates are open. I'm sure they must open them quite a bit, but I've never really seen them that way. rudder is almost up. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just using the wind, I'm just drifting backwards and forwards across the river as the tide is sweeping me out. It, it was worth the cold night on the boat. <coughs> it was a stupidly cold night. Um, three socks, two trousers, four tops, two sleeping bags sleeping on the lilo. I was okay once I was in bed but uh, it was cold until then. But this makes it worth it, even this. Just me and the birds, that's it. <laughs> that's what I like, me and the birds. Low tide here is pretty special, I have to say. It is a very special place at low tide, it is wonderful. I, just, I love lots of places at low tide. Low tide is a wonderful thing. Sailors, quite often we try to get away from low tide, but this sort of sailing, you enjoy low tide. Low tide sailing is wonderful, it's peaceful, it's quiet, the water's not disturbed. Do it. Low tide sailing. It's marvellous. It is cold. I'm ready to go home now. Two, two cold nights on the boat is good enough for me. Thanks. So, once this tide takes me back down to Bruff and lets me back in, I shall pack up and go. And be very happy to be back in a nice warm bed with a warm wife and a warm log fire and all those other good things. And a bath, because I haven't changed my clothes for three days. Confess. I have actually had a pretty good morning afloat. Uh, I motored a little bit, but uh, I sailed nearly all the way just drifting with the tide and now I've stopped for my third cup of coffee cause hot cups of coffee do keep you going. So I'm just drifting with the tide uh, along the edge of the channel here. Um, if I've chosen it right, then I shouldn't have to intervene really, just let the boat drift past and see just outside the channel. just drifting with the tide while I make a cup of coffee and then I'll put the Jenner up and sail again once I've made the cup of coffee. You always feel as though you're being swept towards the marker boys
calling.